All right, guys, we're talking about United the Movement again. Um, don't forget to register if you're a Polsky Strength Conditioning member. We're under CrossFit PSC, no other variation of that. There's some people that have signed up under something similar, but not exactly this. Make sure we're on the same page there. Um, donate if you guys can. And remember, uh, all scores are due tonight at 8 p.m. Um, I didn't do a video for workout number six. I ended up doing the workout with our Zoom class, so I didn't get a chance to uh, wad proof video it and stuff. Um, very straightforward workout though, 150 thrusters. Um, again, technique for that is just the full squat and the press. Um, strategy, take it slow, consistent movement, um, and be uh, consistent across your rounds. But I'm gonna talk more about workout number seven. Um, this is the last one, it's a 10 minute AMRAP. Two single arm double press, alternating right and left, back and forth, um, and then 30 double unders. On the next round, you have four uh, double press, still 30 double unders, then six. You keep adding two uh, to your double press, okay? Um, this workout is gonna be different um, based on your skill or strength that you have. Um, if you're somebody who is pretty efficient at both the double unders and you can move the dumbbell well, you're looking at the faster string here in terms of focuses is going to be on your transitions, being efficient, moving from your rope back to your dumbbell. So just make sure when you guys are done your double under that you're placing the rope down in a position that when you come back to it, it's easy to pick up and continue to go. You don't want to be fumbling around with your rope and stuff. Um, it's a lot of transitions back and forth. So if you can save time there, definitely do that. Um, with your dumbbell, just cons consistent movement and just keep that dumbbell moving. If you can, get rid of the swing. This is what I was doing on mine. You would get up to here and then as you come up, bring your feet as close to the dumbbell as you can so that from here you can snatch the dumbbell straight up and not have to come back and do this movement back and then swing, okay? Again, just shaving some time there, being more efficient. If you're somebody who struggles with the double under movement, um, I would slow down the dumbbell work so that when you get to the double unders, you can really focus on trying to string some sets together for uh, longer sets there, okay? If you're somebody who's good at double unders, you're worried about the pace of the workout, maybe slowing it down a little bit, just stay unbroken on those double unders if you can, continue to breathe, and when you get to your dumbbell, just be in control and be smooth. Try not to rush through it so that you're having to take breaks in between movements, just stay consistent and stay slow with the dumbbell. So when you get to the double unders, you can take advantage of actually being good at that skill. All right, have fun with this workout, guys. It's the last one. Get it done and get them submitted tonight before eight o'clock.